another top 10 for another season. But this time, I got nothing to do with it. You chose this 10 fragrances, okay? What is going on guys and welcome again to another video. I feel a little weird just to have a top 10 fragrances that I, I got nothing to do with it. I, I didn't choose this. You guys did and you guys just gonna suffer the consequences for that. Yeah. I posted on Instagram, probably should follow me there now. What are your favorite top 10 fall fragrances? And you guys were very generous with a very extremely diverse uh, top 10, yeah? And at the most part, actually, of these 10 fragrances right here, you guys have a great taste, just like this guy. 10 great fragrances, I don't actually own a couple of them, or I've owned some of them in the past, but I don't own anymore, unfortunately. And yes, it is what it is, bro, it's just that to get it over with, okay? That was a quick dance because I'm a little late for work. I should have left like 10 minutes ago. Yeah. My number 10 on my list is a great, great fragrance, guys. I love this fragrance. Actually, I haven't worn it like for years. It was in the back of my shelf. But because of you guys, now I have it uh, right next to me. I'm going to be wearing the heck out of it. Uh, this upcoming fall and winter. It is beast mode also. This fragrance actually got multiple votes from my Arabic Arabian friends lives in the Middle East. They actually love, love, love this fragrance. It's one of their staples in the Middle East and uh, it's got a lot of love uh, here in, in the community out of, uh, I would say, the past four or five years or so. And yes, I'm talking about Kalimat by Arabian Oud. This is a beast type of a fragrance, guys. It's mainly oud, amber. It, it's got some a lot of spiciness. It's got some sweetness. Uh, it resembles a lot 24 gold by scent story. But this one, it is on steroid. This one is much stronger. Even though the 24 gold that I have is the vintage and it's beast mode as well. But there's nothing beastliest than this one right here, guys. I'm just letting you know that. Maybe like one, two sprays in the dead winter and you're probably pushing it with that one. Yeah, Kalimat is a great one. My number nine on my list is another beast mode. You guys love your beast mode just like this, guys. If it's not beast moding, it's not me, yeah. And the best part about this fragrance also that it is extremely inexpensive. And yes, I'm talking about Jacques Bogard, Bogart Poem. This is another classic that a lot of people love from like back in the day and uh, Yes, I, I can see why. Stanka bean tobacco honey, when that combo at a time didn't even exist. It resembles Pure Heaven by Thierry Mugler a little bit. Well, Thierry Mugler resembled this. This one came like way first. But this one is extremely strong, guys. I, I believe I got this around like 15, 16, 17 dollars online back in the day. I, I, I believe it still costs around that price. It's a great performing, great smelling, uh, classic cheapy that uh, I think you guys, if you haven't smelt it, Go check it out. Uh, it, it's good for its price. Bogart Poem by Jacques Bogart. It's a great one. My number eight on my list, you guys voted for a bomb. Yes, and I'm talking about Spice Bomb. I am honestly really surprised you guys voted for this over Spice Bomb Extreme. Uh, Spice Bomb Extreme, ever since it came out, it kind of dethroned this. And uh, it became the beloved uh, fragrance from the uh, Victor and Rolf uh, house. Don't get me wrong guys, I love this one. This one is very spicy, tobacco-y. This is the vintage also, it is a beast on my skin. And you guys did great with either one, either Spice Bomb the original, this one, or Spice Bomb Extreme. They're both great. Spice Bomb Extreme, it's a little bit sweeter with the vanilla, it's got a big dose of vanilla. This one is a little uh, darker, a little bit uh, spicier on the edgy more mature side. So for people that doesn't own any of them yet, please see which one do you prefer best and just go for it. This one got reformulated though, so it got a little bit weaker. Uh, and the Spice Bomb Extreme, it, it is still pretty much beast moding. So uh, keep that in mind. My number seven on my list is a staple for myself personally. Ever since it came out, I wear it a lot, especially going to work. And uh, it gets me a lot of compliments. It's a very, very pleasing type of a fragrance. Simple but pleasing. And yes, you guys voted for Prada Lom as number seven, yes. This is extremely clean, extremely pleasing. It's a little bit on the metro sexual side, so it could be a little feminine for some guys out there. And uh, for, for the ladies out there, they could probably prefer this for themselves. 
it still gets a lot of compliments guys and I love it it's one of those fragrances that I personally wear when I want to feel good about myself when I want to have a good day this is one of those horses for me personally Prada Lom it is on my number seven you guys voted for that yeah my number six is a great fragrance guys you actually have a great taste and I'm kind of craving it right now as my scent of the day the fact that I have it in my hands yeah it's gonna you're gonna be my scent of the day baby today okay Seriously guys, it is considered one of the best date scents like ever created. Ladies love this fragrance, guys love this fragrance. It's a very, very mass appealing, uh, compliment getting type of a fragrance that uh, I personally think everybody should own a bottle in his collection because this one is a must. And yes, I'm talking about Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP. The EDP or the Eau de Parfum version is it's much better than the Eau de Toilette and it lasts a little bit long. It, it, it actually it, it performs great on my skin so I can't complain at all with this one right here. It's another amber with tobacco. -y. How many tobacco based fragrances out here? There's a lot. So far three tobacco based fragrances on this list that I've seen so you, I guess you guys love tobacco for fall but for a designer or for a scent in general I really do enjoy the tobacco note here it's it's great especially with uh, the combination with the amber here it just it, it's, it's a great combination in my honest opinion check it out my number five on my list is a fragrance unfortunately I don't own anymore and I'm actually I'm kind of like craving it nowadays I probably should invest in a bottle in the near future because I need to have this in my collection. Yes, it is one of the greatest uh, simple uh, mass appealing oud based fragrances like ever and it is without a doubt oud wood. I have Noir de Noir just to show you how the bottle looks like in case if you guys just don't know how it looks like. Well, I doubt it but there is a little like a small tiny possibility. Yeah, oud wood by Tom Ford without a doubt. It is one of the best smelling fragrances to my nose especially when it comes to the oud category bar none. It is extremely well rounded. It is extremely handsome spicy but the good spiciness. It's not overwhelming. When the spices, no. The cardamom here combined with the oud just smells phenomenal, guys. It's one of these fragrances that you should probably try out once in your life and see how it performs in your skin. Some people, they say it performs great on their skin and some people, they don't have the greatest performance like ever. My number four on my list is a fragrance I personally love. I did a review on it when it first came out like a couple of months ago or so. It's a great, great fragrance, guys. Especially if you love coffee note. It's it's one of the best coffee uh, note in uh, the fragrance history, in my honest opinion. Combined with a great juicy vanilla crow. It's a beast mode as well. So if you're beast mode, and so you probably would pretty much enjoy Ristretto Intense Cafe. I was really surprised the love this one got, especially from the voting. Uh, a lot of you guys voted for that one. And I can totally see why. And I'm kind of craving you baby today also, but it's way too hot and I'm going to work and I don't want to choke people out. Yeah. This is how strong this fragrance is, guys. This is a great night out, uh, like a statement type of a fragrance that I'm, I'm pretty sure if you have this fragrance on, it would get you a lot of compliments and a lot of attention. So if you are looking or fishing for attention, you gotta try this one out. My number three on my list is another great fragrance. I did a review on it recently. I'm just gonna leave a card and a link down below to this review. It's a great flanker for a great fragrance that just barely just came out. I don't own the bottle yet, but it is a Dior Sauvage Parfum. This is the Eau de Parfum. This is another one that really caught me off guard. You guys actually, a lot of you guys voted for it. I thought, well, I, I was kind of sure in a way that Dior Sauvage is going to be in this list, but I didn't know that the Parfum version was going to be the one. I thought probably maybe the Eau de Toilette is going to be on this list. But I guess you guys went for the new stuff, which is understandable. New is always good. New is always exciting. New is, yeah, we love new. I love new. Do you love new too? And yes, I can totally see how mass appealing could Dior Sauvage Parfum could be. It is a little bit on the mature side. It is more well-rounded rather than the original Eau de Toilette. It is definitely darker, more subdued, and it smells great in my honest opinion. My number two on my list is Creed Aventus, and I knew this one was coming. Yeah, 
seriously i am pretty sure and i'm talking from experience by now like if you vote or you if you have a poll to ask people what are your favorite fragrances for a certain occasions for or a top 10 for whatever the case may be uh i'm pretty sure that creed event is gonna be on that list like 110 percent this is honestly one of the most loved fragrances like ever like in my honest opinion especially when it comes to the community frag hit community to be specific there's a lot of creed aventus fanboys out there i am one of them i'm not gonna lie i just love creed aventus and it's one of those dark horses for me personally when i want to smell great and i get compliments yes this one works guys there's uh, a lot of uh clones of it out there there's a lot of uh, uh fragrances that smells exactly like it just because they just want to get a, a little piece of that tree the ventus pie uh, it makes sense yeah and the fact that this one it is on my number two it makes total sense um and it would have been number one but because of one vote only one vote made by number one actually went over this my number one on my list, the fragrance you guys voted for the most. Uh, yes, I know this is a great uh, all year around type of a fragrance. This is a great uh, fragrance when it comes to the mass appeal. It is a flanker of, of the infamous original that came out like long time ago. And it is actually the best uh, selling fragrance like ever and yes by now you guys know which one i'm talking about and it is aqua digio profumo you know what i'm just gonna make this my scent of the day today you know why because it is actually my num you voted for this as my number one and i'm kind of like craving it today it's it, it is a hot day today and uh, this one actually would work great for this um, heat, especially uh, at work. And hey, I want to feel good about myself today. It's a Monday and uh, I want to have a good Monday. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I know Aqua Digio Profumo going to help me out achieving to have a great, great Monday. You guys have a great Monday too, okay? This is a must buy for anybody's collection, guys. It performs great. It gets a lot of positive feedback from pretty much everybody. It's very classy, very elegant, and it smells handsome. And who doesn't want to smell handsome? We wear colognes and fragrances for God's sake to uh, make us more handsome, yes. And this one would help you achieve that goal, bro. So this is pretty much it guys. Thank you guys again for watching and subscribing and doing all the good stuff. This is a great video. Thank you for voting for this video. I really do appreciate it a lot. This is not my video. This is your video. You voted for this. And if you don't like these picks, you should probably still give me thumbs up because you voted for it, bro. You're gonna give yourself thumbs up for this video. So anybody who voted for this uh, on this uh, video, Thumbs up for you. I'm expecting 500 likes because you love me and you love your fragrances that you guys voted for. I am excited to do my other top 10 fall list niche and designer coming up very soon. So if you guys uh, are interested, please also follow me on Instagram to see all my miniature reviews that I do there pretty much all the times and the lives and all the... Hey, hey, go follow me on Instagram now, okay? Don't forget to click that subscribe button down there and that notification bell right next to it to not miss on any future video I am planning to do in the future, yes. And please comment in this section down below. Comment, comment, comment. What do you think of these lists? Uh, what did I miss? What do you wanted to vote and you wanted to see on this list? What are you gonna be wearing the most this fall? I am curious, bro, and I would love to know. And this is another week with no sponge and I know sponge making smelling good always easy. Peace.